Hi y'all, Terhi here. Today I'm up on Hip Kid Club block and doing some really super serious mixed media by using, uh, using January 2018 Hip Kits, especially the color kit, which, which included two lovely oxide inks and then lovely stamp set from Echo Park. But before I'm going into the stamping and to the oxide inks, I'm planning how to design the page with these cut files I cut out. The cut files are from January exclusive cut files. I think um, the Hipkick Club owner Kimberly designed these. I decided to use this kind of ribbon thing in two different uh, styles. One is with the holes and one is without. And I took it to uh, two different kind of papers. Because I wanted to repeat pink and yellow, which are really delicious on this kit. The, uh, these both papers are exclusive as well. So I really want to show you how they look. That's why I'm going <laughs> with all the pinks and yellows and really pastel tones today. But I decided that instead of repeating myself time after time by making a layout like um, one part of the page is covered and one side is completely white, I decided to break my rules and go with the, this kind of sketch that there's a photo in the other side of the paper and then maybe title or something, something like that in the other side. So something else, but the most important thing for me is that I'm just having fun. So the oxide inks are now quite familiar for me. I have been using them for a while and I love the way that they can be used with water. And that's what I'm doing today as well. Uh, as you see, I added some ink first and then I have this water color brush with water inside. So I can spread the ink a little and then I will have this like a bit um, watercolorish <laughs> look for the background that there will be um, patterns from the stamp but there will, there will also be some splashes and um, un, unstrict patterns which is nice and I really love the way this um, orange or yellow, yellowish orange <laughs> and pink are going together. They really blend well together and they are looking so gorgeous. And that's actually the, the point why I started in the first, first place using those two papers which I made the cut files from. Um, these inks are really vibrant because the, there's so much color inside. I haven't added now in like many many times and there's still color left which is always nice because once you buy one you can use it several times like forever or something. Anyway to make sure that the background is messy enough I decided to make some pencil uh, doodles or something, some circles, and then I'm starting to do the background collage thing. Um, first I am adding the uh, without holes pieces. <laughs> Sorry about my tricky words, but I don't find any better right now. Anyway, I'm adding some with double-sided tape and then I'm going to glue the ones with the holes because that's much easier way than using double-sided tape for that kind of thin thin paper. But the double-sided tape is fun and it's it doesn't have to dry so I really prefer it. 
And I'm doing it the way that there's pink and yellow repeating time after time, and the way that the, uh, the scallop. Mm, okay, now I'm lost in the words. But anyway, um, in a way that they are not in the line. Because I really want to make this layout really playful and fun. Because the photograph I'm scrapbooking today is about my daughters who were both playing football and uh, laughing and playing again more <laughs> last summer. So I really want to, this layout to remind of a happy times. So lots of um, playful elements like like the background there are some rose patterns from the stamp but also some splashes and like life it happens just anyway um, about the background I didn't use any gesso or any gels or anything for the background this time uh, I decided not to have anything, even though this is um, regular uh, white cardstock. Because the way that I used today water with the stamping, the water amount was so small that it didn't need any kind of preparing. But if you want to do so, you can do it. And of course, if uh, if you use any more water that I used in this one, maybe then it would be good to have some kind of preparing gesso on the background, because then it's much easier to work with. Also, um, if this paper would be wrinkled by the stamping with water and ink, these kind of stripes will make it a bit more hmm, straight again because they kind of make it stronger. Anyway, like you see, now I'm going to glue parts here and there, and I'm kind of running out from these uh, ones with the holes, so that's why I cut, it them. I cut them into two parts. I also draw a simple frame by myself with the Silhouette Studio, which is really easy, you just use the square tool. I don't know if it's that's called, but anyway, a couple of squares and then trimming one out and that's a frame. Anyway, I uh, cut a couple of those and decided to have the, that lovely cork pattern to this layout to uh, bring some balance with the darker color but um, with, with kind of um, still a light tone, you know? Maybe you don't. Maybe I should really go to the English lesson or even talk some English before I'm starting to do voiceovers videos. Anyway, back to this layout. I decided that it doesn't matter if the other part of the page is a little different than the first one because now you see there's two um, yellow ones and then one pink one but it doesn't matter it will look nice anyway because I will add the frame on top and then some embellishments or some kind of um, title maybe thickers I don't know yet but I think the layout starts to look right now already quite nice. And my photograph is quite light, there's nothing black uh, in, the uh, in the photograph. So that's why I prefer using the cork as the darkest color in this layout. I made a little paper cluster from the scraps I had from the layout I did earlier with Hipkit Club January kits and just collect them together and use the staple to 
get them together and that's it. There's actually a couple of Project Life cards from the Project Life kits uh, included to the paper cluster because there was so beautiful colors. I love the um, really light green was there and the one you see now on top, the kind of brown one anyway with the grid one. Yeah, so I added that too for my papers. Um, and as I want to repeat the same theme of having really playful layout, I added a lots and lots and again a lots of thread behind the photographs and behind the paper layers to make sure that there's lots of going on because in this um, pace I knew that I will add some kind of mist or some more ink or watercolors or something on the layout later so I wanted to have a lots of white thread to add some color on there too because white cotton thread will be colored so easily and that makes a lot of nice details uh, I thought about the title quite a long time and I didn't want to add any tickers. I wanted to have some kind of bigger elements for the embellishments and that's why I chose this big uh, butterfly which is a die-cut element from Vicky Putin Ephemera I think it was from the Ephemera pack anyway or then no now I remember it was from the watercolor stickers but anyway the similar kind of butterfly is also in the Ephemera pack so if you have some of these you will find that kind of butterfly and I really love this one uh, so I wanted to have the big embellishments in the both side, the awesome title on the left side and then the butterfly on the right side and then some fun uh, glossy stickers from Pink Press Studio which was also included for January kids. These all were. Uh, the awesome, uh, awesome title and these stickers are from uh, crate paper and I think even though the kind of fruit um, is not related to my story in any way it, it looks good there and that's what it's all about but anyway I hope you enjoyed and I hope you are inspired and we'll see you again in next week Thank you for watching and bye!